welcome back to Tommy Banks Homestead and Prepping. So we're about to go into the uh, store and see what the shelves are looking like. See if there are any more shortages, gaps, or whatever they have going on in here from the last time I went in. Um, but also in this video, um, I have some things that I wanted to talk to you about. And they're pretty, you know, deep, but I don't want you to feel like you're overwhelmed with it. That's why I decided to do this intro to let you know that you're not in this alone. You know, we are all struggling to figure out what will work best for our family, what we need to do for our household, and just take into account some situations that might take place and then going from there with how we prep and plan. So um, stay prayed up through it all because it is not easy, especially when you're seeing things from here and from there. Um, be safe out here. Right now, the COVID numbers are extremely high. Uh, the Omicron is the dominant variant right now in the United States. It just hit the United States and already is at 73%, 73% right now. And that's in the Southern states. The northern states are being overwhelmed with the Delta variant that is still out there. But this Omicron is spreading very fast. Yes, the symptoms are very mild. So they say like allergy or a little cold or whatever. But the hospitals are still being overwhelmed with all of the patient patients that are coming in. The urgent cares are being overwhelmed with all of the people trying to get tested and go out and celebrate with their families for the holidays. Um, so be safe when you're out there. If you believe in wearing a mask, wear a mask. Masks are not 100%, but I'd rather have a, per a percentage than to not wear a mask at all and go out there and risk anything. And if you have an underlining condition like I do, you know, you might need to think about should you be vaccinated or not vaccinated? Should you get your boosters or not get your boosters? I have yet to get the booster. I'm still, that's just still something that I'm grappling with. Should I do or not? Um, but whatever decision I make, it will be out of my best interest and the best interest of my household. And I suggest you do the same for your household. Um, stay aware that there are things that are happening across the world that they don't always talk about on our news here in the United States. So look into those things and see what's going on around the world. That way you can better figure out what you need to do in your household. Because over here, we're, we're not going to tell you anything until the last minute. That way we can try to not have so much of the panic buying and all of that stuff that's going on out here. So I don't want to over talk you with everything that's happening stay safe have a happy holiday if you celebrate it if not have a happy whatever with your family um i'm about to go into the store i'm about to take you with me stay tuned for the store walkthrough towards the end and then also some things that the news doesn't want you to know I'm letting you know right now in this video. So please share it out with other people. Like the video, leave me some comments down below. Let me know where you're from, what you're seeing in your area. And uh, let's get into the store. Um, I can't do the shopping that I wanted to do today because um, I'm having some bank issues right now, okay? Um, there was a charge that was on my account. I called those people and I told them, I don't know what this charge came from. I wanted to get it off. What do I need to do? She said, you can do a stop payment, but we'll have to send you out a whole nother card or you can just call that company and do the stop payment there. So I said, okay, well, I'll call that company. I don't want to do a stop payment because I don't want to have to wait to get another debit card. Why they did it anyway. And I didn't know until today. And this was like weeks ago and because I haven't used that card. And... I go to use the card and I can't use the card. And I'm like, okay, I got shopping to do. You know, I have things to do. And so they're going to expedite me a card 
hopefully within one to two days they said i should have it so before christmas so i'm genuinely going to be doing some last minute christmas shopping and if i don't get it oh well we'll just shop off of my husband's um account and we'll be fine but y'all stay safe um i don't know why i told y'all all that but anyway that's what i'm dealing with it's always something that we youtubers are dealing with we people we are people <laughs> we are people we deal with everyday stuff and I don't want to come on here and act like I don't deal with anything. I don't have anything come up in my life because I do. And it gets frustrating. But through it all, I have faith that even in the darkest moments of what I'm feeling and when I feel defeated, that I know that God is there with me and he'll see me through that. So it's no need for me to soak in it. I had that moment of frustration you know, but I had to pray about it and I'm going to let it go. And hopefully it'll get here in one to two days, preferably one day because I have a hair appointment coming up, but, and I didn't want to take that out of, I don't want to use my other card for that. I wanted to use my own stuff. So y'all let's get into the store. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. I love you, but God truly loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, you can go out and spread God's love with distance if you have to. But if you need to give somebody a hug, give them a hug. I hope you know them before you hug them. Or you ask them, is it okay if I hug you? Don't just get in somebody's space and they don't want you there. And, and then say, well, Tommy, t no, Tommy didn't tell you to, mm -mm. Tommy didn't tell you to go in there and invade somebody's space, y'all. So y'all have a blessed, blessed, blessed day. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Hey family, welcome back to the channel. So if you're thinking about starting that prepper pantry, do it on a budget if you have to. These pastas with the spaghetti right here, you get four packs in that box for about $2.50. You can get these nor size, the rice or the pasta for $1 at Walmart. You also can get these complete meals. They have them in different brands, um, but these right here are about $2.24. Find you the beans that you enjoy. Don't just get what you see other people have. Prep what you eat, eat what you prep. Add these elbow macaroni noodles to it. You can just make all kinds of things with this. Quick oats is another great item to add to your prepper pantry. It lasts a long time and you get a lot for the money. Shelf stable milk is really the only milk that I buy now. Every now and then I'll buy a gallon of milk, but these last a long time. When you open them, you have seven days to use them. And then you have the honey. This never goes bad. Even if it crystallizes, just put it in the microwave and bring it back to life. Canned fruit. I got these from Aldi. They were under a dollar. That's something good you can add to your pepper pantry. Any kind of bean, baked bean, canned bean, dry beans, add that as well as rice. I didn't have it out here, but add some rice to your pantry as well and sugar. Water is also important. That's like my number one thing to do. I was watching The Book of Eli. If you've ever seen that movie, watch it again and look at all the things that they went through. We never know what's around the corner. We are still having supply chain problems. Container ships are backed up and more ships are lining up right after those. We are experiencing high worker shortages, whether it be from illness, childcare, or whatever the excuse is. Some stores are short of workers due to COVID-19 spreading. We need to start paying attention to what happens around the world. Here are some pictures of COVID patients in India, people lined up for COVID vaccines family members and workers carrying the bodies of COVID victims to burial sites in New Delhi, burial sites for multiple COVID-19 victims for a mass cremation, stores and restaurants closing early or not opening at all. Whether they want to admit it or not, the economy is taking a severe beating. Unemployment is at an all time high 
oil prices are constantly going up. Food and non-food prices are also getting insane. Crime is on a rise, an all-time high in many cities. We are having more and more storms every week, one worse than the next. And prayers out to all of those affected by the recent storms we just had. There are things you can control and things you cannot control. If you are stocking food and other supplies like medical, prescription, non-prescription medication, continue to do that. If you are not planning on it, I hope you're fully stocked. If you are thinking about it, then get the basics of what you need, but make sure you have something to sustain you. It doesn't matter if the people in your household don't want to do it with you. As a mother, it's our instinct to take care of our our babies and even our grown babies because they're going to bypass daddy and walk straight to mommy and ask, where's the food? I'm hungry. So if you're on a budget, that's fine. We're all on a budget right now with the way things are. Get what you need. Make sure you prep what you eat and eat what you prep. Don't forget to get your comfort foods for your kids and for yourself because no one likes to be hangry and keep prepping. And remember, if you prep today, you are prepared for tomorrow. If you sow something today, you will grow something tomorrow and your family won't have to struggle. So let's do a quick store walkthrough. So don't lose sight of what we have to do, what we have to plan for, the things that are down the pipeline to come. I know that we have holiday season here. We're buying gifts, we're buying items for the people that we love, but we also need to remember we have to continue to get as much as we can while we can before the limits are put back on to these products. After Christmas, I think a lot is going to change when it comes to store shortages and it's not gonna be in a positive direction. So get what you can now. You don't have to panic by, get a little bit here and there and you'll have enough in the end. Prep today so you are prepared for tomorrow. Start that garden today, sow something today so that you can grow something tomorrow.